Will Don Wells be charged in Utah? That's been a question we've had for a long time. The interview room had a show with a man named Billy Little Jr., who's an attorney, among other things, a very, very intelligent man. I do include his resume in here so that you can read it. At one hour and 24 minutes, someone asks, Chris, will DW make a big return to YouTube? Your thoughts on what's next? CM replies, DW is an addict, alcoholic, and will return to his ways. One hour, 25. What about Utah for Dawn? <laughs> I look really dumb, but I'll do it. I'll do it because I just don't care. So a Utah, so one of the things about Utah, we can talk about the law on this one here. So they're looking at the statute of limitations. There's only one loophole, and you explained this uh, before in relationship to um, suppressed memory uh, or oppressed memory. What, what is the right legal terminology for it? Repress. Repress memory. Uh, so kind of do a high, if you, if you remember. Uh, so Mary's case and Jeannie's case is at the DA's office. Uh, it's being reviewed for charges against DW. There are uh, a total of seven victims. Three of them are solid. Uh, the other four are good, but they're not as strong, but they are survivors and they are victims. Uh, and you can, you know, kind of explain what I mean by that from a legal position, but yeah, so, so we covered, we covered this in probably a lot of detail, but big level, high level view is, so there's a statute of limitations and the statute of limitations has run. There are some exceptions for it. Uh, the law has since changed, but because of our rule against imposing ex post facto laws, meaning you can't create a law today to make something that you did yesterday criminal, you can't change a statute of limitations and make it retroactive, right? So if the statute of limitations under the old law has run, which it has in that case, um, you can't change the law to make it different. Now, there are exceptions for minors and there are exceptions for uh, if you didn't discover the evidence, uh, if you didn't know about it, but that was not the case here. Uh, so they were aware uh, of the crimes way back when. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it wasn't reported back then. It wasn't investigated back then. Uh, sometimes if, if the person goes into hiding, you know, that tolls the statute of limitations. There are some exceptions, but when we looked into it, none of the exceptions applied uh, in this case. So I think I'd have to agree with the prosecutor that... Except for one, except for the repressed memory aspect of it. And she had reported it, hmm. but it, it never got chased out. So that's kind of the loophole. Okay, that, then that's possible. I mean, I, again, I would defer to the prosecutor. It seems to have a good handle on the law and the facts in that case. Um, yep. And if they feel like there's something to go after, I, I think that they will, right? And, that's part of the problem in the cases that we all deal with is that some of these stories don't have an end, right? And that's not, as human beings, we need an end, right? It's like watching, you know, the old Rocky boxing movies, but never knowing how the fight turned out, right? We're never, we're never comfortable with that. We need to know, we need to have a conclusion. Um, and sometimes we don't. And that's one of the frustrating things about these cases. Sometimes there's no prosecution. You know, and uh, just to shift gears again, uh, this is a really good point, especially- in Cheryl, you saved me. Yes, can, can Don's sister still get justice out of this uh, after the, all this time? Yes. Uh, what is What are some other options uh, from the victims of individuals like this? Uh, okay. For Jeannie and jo uh, Mary. Uh, I don't know. I don't, sometimes you don't get justice. I don't Can know. Can go civil if they had to? Civil, civil uh, actions have to be filed more quickly than the criminal ones do. Okay. Um, you're going to fall. I mean, a lot of times you've got a six month to two year window when you have to file it. Um, oh, thanks, Cynthia. I, I always feel bad when people tell me thanks for our military service because I feel like I got more out of it than I gave. Um, so I just, I feel a little guilty because it was just such an honor and a pleasure and to do something good for this country. 
But thank you, Cynthia. You're a great American, Mr. Billy Little. And um, okay, so I've had you an hour and a half. That's a uh, where I want to always run. You hear Mr. Billy say that sometimes you don't get justice. His resume is beyond impressive. And again, I've included it. So I ask you to pause and just read the things that he's done as far as being a defense attorney, a judge, uh, written law manuals, etc. Uh, and it, it seems to me, based on what I listened to, that CM and Billy have discussed this in the past. And Billy doesn't believe that there are uh, that that there's a case here. In his words, the statute has run out on prosecuting such a case. And when it's mentioned, well, maybe a civil case, he said that the timeline on that is even more strict. So these are things that I personally am hearing as there will be no case. And it appears that they've had this discussion before, and I do apologize, I do not watch uh, the interview room channel, so perhaps this is old news to everybody, and it's been discussed before on this channel, but the last that I'd heard, the case was supposed to be proceeding forward, that they felt that there was a strong case here. So I don't know what exactly has changed, but... In any case, the law is what it is, and you can't, as Mr. Billy was saying, you can't go back and change it to punish somebody today for something you did yesterday if the law already prohibits doing such. So, when was this known? At what point was the statute explained to the ladies who are interested in bringing the charges. I don't know if that's been discussed with them. I'm sure the prosecutor in the case has talked to them about whether they're going to go forward on it, but it appears from what he's saying, it felt to me as though he has some knowledge of this case, and they kind of refer to them have talking, they've talked about it before. So while it is unfortunate, it doesn't sound like there's anything that's going to happen in this. And it does feel like they were given hope when it doesn't seem like there's much they can do. So if you have information to the contrary, if I am incorrect here in what I believe I'm hearing, then let me know.